Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we are outside with a fun Dollar Tree and 99 cent store haul. Um, these cute pinatas came from the 99 cent store, but they um, I will show them to you guys later. I think these were $3.99, but um, I know they just put them out last night and they were already going quick because we went back today to see what else they put out. So I'll talk to you guys about those in just a second. So we got Axon over there playing with his bubble gun he got at the 99 cent store today. I think it was $2.99, but it works pretty good. It's the same kind you get like at the little flea markets and the swap meets, but he's already wasting <laughs> all his bubbles. But anyways, back to business here. I'm going to show you the little bit of stuff I found at the Dollar Tree, and then I will skip over to the 99 cent store stuff. Okay, so first order of business here, I picked up another two-pack of this dial soap. Now, I think we just mainly use this more as like a little air freshener in the shower. There's something about the freshness smell of the bar soap when the steam and everything mixes, so... Um, I picked up another one of these in here in Vegas. Everything dries out so quick the soap bar gets all cracked and sharp and ugly. So I just picked up another one. So we have fresh bars of soap to keep in there. I think it's more of like a comfort routine thing. Sorry, it just rolled down my bushes. The other item I picked up is this cute pack of stickers. I can't recall if I have these already or if I've seen them, but they have glitter on them. And you guys know I'm a sucker for anything with animals on it. So I went ahead and picked up a package of these stickers. And I have to show you that I'm on my little rosemary bushes out here. They're nice and fluffy, so they're big enough for me to do my fun little haul on. And then this one over here is hilarious. My brother and my uh, husband call it the butt bush, as you can imagine why. <laughs> so every time I walk out of my house, I get to see this big giant butt bent over <laughs> by my curb here, which is hilarious. So I only did a little Easter tree. But anyways, let me jump back into this <laughs> haul. It's too nice of a day not to be outside, and the hubby is... I don't know if you can see inside the house, but you can definitely hear him when he gets going. He's in there practicing for his show tomorrow. So we came outside to enjoy the nice weather. And now he's gonna he probably heard me, so he's gonna start getting louder. <laughs> the next items I picked up were for the boys' Easter baskets. And I um, don't want someone to hear me say that, because he'll turn around. And I picked them up, two packs of these, and the Palmer bunnies, I know I can trust on them to be somewhat decent to eat. And of course, more packing supplies. I always grab these when I'm in there. That seems to be the only thing I can count on finding lately. I will be sad when, when those go away. And my Dollar Trees are just in shambles lately and I don't know what's going on, but I feel like maybe they need to pay their people more to care a little bit more about the store and keeping it clean. That's the only thing I could think because they keep having like high overturn and it's clean for one week when they get a new crew and then it gets back messy again. It's just, it just seems like maybe that's what they need to do. I don't know. I'm giving up almost. <laughs> I've been on the hunt for these paper clips. My Dollar Tree only had one package. I like am really hunting these. I would almost, <laughs> well, I would actually, if you guys want to message me and I'll put my link and stuff, my email and link below, I will trade you guys like paper clips or planner stuff if you find packs of these. Um, I'm on the hunt for them. And I also picked up these cute little slingshots for the boys. It doesn't seem like there's too many boy stuff, but. I thought these would be cool for them to fling around and they already seen them and been begging me for them so I'm assuming that was a good purchase. So of course I had to get two packages of those slingshots for them. Everything is sliding down my round little bushes here. I also picked up some of these cute Easter bows. You guys know me, I'll probably turn them into paper clips or something planner friendly. So they had these three different colors and I got one of each of those. And for the barbecue and lighting, you know, all the stuff, candles and all that, I always pick up one of those every time I go. And I also ran into some of these. I don't know if they're old or new. The last time I picked up, they were the baby lips, but this time I saw these uh, Rimmel ones and this one says, keep calm and kiss. And I couldn't really see if they had a flavor to them, but I think the kiss and this one says shop, I think. Keep calm and party. There was one that said keep calm and shop, and there was one that said keep calm and... I don't know. I don't remember what it said. But I only picked up those two to try out. I don't know if they're good or not, but we'll just try. And that was pretty much lately all I've been finding from the Dollar Tree, guys. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the 99 cent store, because as you can see, I always do major damage at the 99 cent store. So I'm going to show you guys what I found at the 99. Okay, now they're both out here, and I'm going to try to continue my video that's why it does take me so long to get videos done for you guys is I'm stopping and starting like at least 20 times but it's all right 
we're gonna get it done today because I have a lot to show you guys. Anyways, so here are the pinatas. They were $3.99 each, and the guy said these were new items to the 99 cent store and that he hopes there will be more. Um, I may eventually make my way back to get the pineapple and the watermelon slice to hang up. I think they would look festive going across the pool, like backyard area where the vines are growing up along the fence, so they're cute for a party. Also, these guys, I did buy these to actually put up on my shelf in my craft room. I just thought that they were super trendy and happening right now, so that they would be cute to have just sitting up on my shelf. I just think they're really cute, and four bucks, you can't beat that. Plus, they're pinatas. Okay, moving along now to the next item are these really cute lawn stakes. I bought some similar to this from Ross about five or six years ago, and they've lasted this long. Um, they solar charge, and they come with a chargeable battery already inside, and the sun just charges them up for you. And I saw these the other day when I went to the 99, and I think they were going pretty quick, so I went ahead and grabbed three of each color. I already have two put out over there. You can kind of see them. And, um... Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to show you guys, so I'm gonna keep going. I have, uh, I bought six of these total to put out in the yard, but I probably should have gotten more, but it's enough to light up the little area where I have the new plants that we bought from Home Depot the other day. Staying along the pinata line are these super cute jalapeno pens. They are shaped like a jalapeno, and this pen has a sombrero on and a funny little mustache, and for a dollar, it was too hard to pass up. They are pretty funny and all of that, so, you know, I had to get some of these and it did take me a while to find them because I left them the first time I didn't get them and then I was like, you know, what, let me go back and they were gone, of course, but I ended up finding them again. So here they are. The next group of items I picked up were for my kitchen. I could not resist this cute spring floral printed drying mat and I usually just put this underneath my little coffee station so that if there's any spills or whatever, it'll absorb it. And the colors in here are really, really pretty. You can hear the hubby getting a little bit louder. He knows he has an audience, obviously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I went ahead and got the polka dotted lavender color to go with this. And they had all the colors in this mat to go, but I just like the way the lavender went with this. And then I went over to the Hawaiian luau party section and I grabbed the green mats for my table because I just like the way the green makes this light up. So I just thought that would be cute in my kitchen. With that, just to pep it up for spring, I mean, this was a total of $4 to pep up my kitchen a little bit. That's a steal. Anyways, I'm gonna try to stop sounding like Mommy, a salesperson. Moving along, some more um, tropical kind of stuff. I picked up these really pretty pastel flamingos and they look to have some sort of like, like nice yellow light gold color on them and they are actual little wooden signs for a dollar. You can't beat that and I think the ones I got last year were like that pressed particle board or almost like a cardboard and these are actual uh, I think this one is particle board, but anyway, this is more sturdy, so I picked up all the three flamingo variations I found of those. And then, all right, so moving along now, we ended up having to pack it up and bring it inside. It got dark, and it has since been a Easter has happened, and I somehow <laughs> lost two of my middle finger fingernails. And, um, I will show you, continue on showing you what I picked up from the 99 cent store because there is still a lot. I did forget to show you guys the matching little pot holders to the little Hello Spring. I think this line from there right now that they have currently is called Hello Spring. And they do have matching coordinated pieces like the polka dots or you can get the flowers to these also. I also picked up in the tropical area these cute little, it's like a photo, they're like photo props for a photo booth, but to me I'm thinking of just taking them apart and using them, the little die cuts out of there for a friend mail or putting them on some things that are like a flamingo pair of glasses and then there's a little coconut drink and all of that fun stuff. So I'm trying to zero in better on that. But for the most part you guys can see what they are and they're pretty big size and they're all on a stick so they would be fun if you're having a little fun party you know a little summer party or barbecue or something to use and for a dollar you cannot beat that and i think i have some stationery to show you guys from a haul before and i didn't want to leave it out um these were in the stationary aisle and they're like little roller tapes and these actually guys ring up 25 cents or 20 cents i don't know why maybe they're really old and they just had a lot of them, but they're super cute little clouds. And like I said, they ring up 20 cents or something along those lines. I also picked up for the boys, since they're still my pens all the time, two packs of these colored gel pens that have Star Wars on it. 
So I thought they would like these a lot. We haven't opened them up yet because I wanted to show them to you first. And like I said, for a dollar, you cannot beat that pack of pens. And they're not like generic. We also picked up this cute stationery that um, we saw our other sister on YouTube, Lauren Wesley Hall. And I thought these were really cute set of, you know, like stationery. The pictures on it was really cute and trendy. Black and white stripes. These are highlighters. Feathers, flamingos, stripes, super cute. So I picked up a package of those. Some of the cute coordinating pens. And there was one more. There's some mechanical pencils that match this. And I really don't have a use for mechanical pencils. But they were cute and I figured I would need them for something down the line. So I went ahead and picked up those. And then there were also packs of binder clips in this um, collection too. Which were really cute. So I got a package of those. And I had more of these little puffy stickers, but I don't know where I set them. So I'm gonna go try to take a look and see if I can find them really quick and come back and show you the ones that I picked up of those. Turns out they're right behind myself here. So <laughs> I'm crazy, but anyways, here's the pack of pencils that I was telling you guys about. And they're just too cute to pass up. You see the cute little artwork on there. So we grabbed those. And I hope they continue to get cute stationery since they have to be hip to the stationery and planner game that's going on. I mean, everybody else is beefing up their planner aisles and stationery, journals, all of that. So here are the package of these stickers that I picked up. And they are adorable. Some of them I got doubles of, so I didn't want to put those ones in there. Um, I just wanted to basically show you guys all the different ones that there were. Okay, so there's one more. Okay, so here we go. This one has the pizza, the thumbs up like a little coffee drink there, milkshake, and then the egg. This one here has cupcake, cute eyes, little peace sign, and the yeehaw. This one has girl gang, a lightning bolt, lipstick, kiss, and then I don't know why they put the X through the high heels because I myself do love high heels, so I don't know about that. <laughs> and then the unicorns here, this one was just too cute with the little clouds and all of this stuff matches. And then on this one here, we have the burger, the fries, the hot dog, and the soda. This one has the cute fruits, cute little pineapple there, take me away, cherries. And then of course, you guys know I love this one with a flamingo and the cute cactus and the little love glasses and all that. So I thought those were a cute little find. So I think they're definitely beefing up their stationary journal kind of aisle there, it's getting better. And like I said, 99 cents and most times everything there is 99 cents but there is exceptions. There are some things that you could tell would be more than 99 cents and then they will say on it with the yellow sticker like it's $2.99 or it's $3.99 but usually it's a pretty fair price. I've only found a few things where I'm like, oh, I don't think so. But other than that, everything is good. I also picked up these cute little puff balls. I was going to put these in the boys <laughs> Easter baskets but they really didn't want them so I was like, oh, never mind. So now I have them. I could probably take off the emojis, but they're actually really big puff balls and they're nice, soft quality puff balls. They're not like all, you know, some of the cheapy ones that are all beat up or misshaped. And they have the cute little smiley face on it and they have the key ring and the little clasp there. And then on this one, I got the heart eyes ones. So I thought they were cute to show you guys for a dollar. Moving along, some of the party items I forgot. I forgot this cute little lotus looking flower here with toothpicks in it. I thought this was cute to have on the table during the summer seasons as I'm going to be pepping it up and changing it over as soon as I get done filming this video. And then I picked up a package of the party cups in these cute lavender color because I thought it was too cute and I wasn't going to use them for Easter but forgot they were in my haul bags. So now Easter is past. I also picked up, and these are adorable, these little cute, um, you can put them around your hair ties. Um, little pack of scrunchy hair, but I'll probably turn them into paper clips or something fun. And this one is pink with little polka dots and it has the floral on it. And then this one here is like denim color with a pretty purpley red and then the polka dots here. Matches everything perfectly that I'm currently into, so I picked up some of those. Actually, I picked up three packages of those and that was the only... There was two other color variations, but this is the one I could see myself using the most of. And then we did get some candy that's been hiding in this bag for a while. Now that I'm saying it out loud, it will be found. <sighs> and then we also found these big, I don't know if you collect these or if you like them, but these Monster High dolls. And this one is called Frankie Stein. 
and she is adorable. I love her hair and her makeup and her little outfit is super duper cute. And here's an example of the signs when they're not 99 cents. So this was $2.99 and she is a nice, you know, like name brand, pretty big doll. So I picked up her. And I also picked up this one. Now I had seen these the day before I got these. And then I decided to go back because I thought, you know, it's too good of a deal. And I could always just keep them as, you know, gifts for someone or someone that I know that collects them. And then there was only two left. There was three the first day I saw them, and then I went back and only these two were left here. So here is the two girls that I picked up, and this girl's name is Gulia Yelps. <laughs> so super cute. They get stuff like that from time to time, and it's really cool. Um, I'm going to grab the next batch of stuff I have to show you. It's um, pet items that I think would be good for anybody, so let me grab those and show you guys what I got. All right, the boys are starting to get antsy, and believe it or not, the item was again behind myself. I just thought I couldn't find it, but um, I can't remember <laughs> if I was going to show you guys more stationery or the toy that I found. I think it was the Smurf toys that Axon had been finding there at the 99 cent store, and these are little collectible figurines. He's already opened the other two that he found there. He had the big house with the snail and Papa Smurf, and um, two more that he's already demolished. So, um, these are marked $3.99, which I think these could have been $2.99, would have been a little bit better, but he got the Poet Smurf starter set, and they all hook together like a little puzzle piece so they can go in the village together, and these were going quick, so I don't know if there's any more of these left, but we saw quite a few on the first day we got them, and then the next day they were kind of picked through. Moving along to more toys that I did not need, but I just had to buy because, again, once the packaging is everything to me. <laughs> When something presents itself really cute, it's really hard to pass it up. Um, I don't really know what these Tamagotchi figures are for. Like I said, nor do I need them, but they were just too adorable, so I did grab them. And there are five, <laughs> five of them, and this is what they look like. So I thought I could do something with these. I don't know yet what I'll do, but I did pick up this little one. I'm not even going to try to say her name because I have not a clue what the heck that is. And here's this one, which is my favorite. I like her little puffs on the side there and her cute little face. This one here has this little cute cherry or apple on her head. I don't know what the heck that is. But she is also cute. And then this one's also really cute too. Well, they're all cute, obviously, because I bought them all. <laughs> and there's only one that I couldn't find that's on the back of this box. So they had all of these there. And she's got the little stars on her head. So she was cute. Okay, so done with the toys here, and I've got some more stationery. I came across these cute little owl sticky flags here, and I thought they were too cute. And it, you get a lot in this package here, and um, you says 300 sheets, so that's a really good deal. So I picked up two of those. Probably one will be in a friend mail at some point, and then one for me. But the colors of these were just too adorable, and the owls themselves are cute. <laughs> he looks very alert, this one. But yeah, so those are those. And then I forgot, obviously I was moving along to the pet items, so let me show you what we picked up for Wally. Since now we got him comfortable not being so macho and laying on his soft, cozy stuff, I went ahead and I was gonna take it a step further. But I did pick up this really big little uh, litter catcher mat for him to put in front of his food. I thought this would be comfy for him to stand on since rabbits have kind of long nails and we don't keep bedding in his um, cage it's pretty flat I didn't know if his nails kind of hit when he's walking around so I thought at least while he's standing there eating his nails can kind of go into this and make a little cushion for his feet and this is made for cats so you can put their food dish or put it outside their litter box to catch all the little bits of litter and this was a dollar for this and it's a good size guys it's a pretty big mat so that will go under Wally's food he needed a new one of these. We bought him one of these before and I caught him several times just laying up there on this little mat that's on his second level. He has four levels in his cage. He's kind of spoiled, but it was a ferret cage that was my ferret um, that passed away like two years ago. And it's such a nice cage, I didn't want to get rid of it. And Wally knows how to use the levels just like the ferret did. So he has a four level cage. And this goes on the level that um, he comes down the first steps to. So he has somewhere comfy to step onto and he was laying on it and it got all hairy and then I think he may have peed on it so I got him another one of these and then this one you can see this was a dollar ninety nine but it's a thick pet mat so he got that and then I was pretty shocked that these big pet beds were in there and it's a cushiony bed um I hope I left the price tag on it to show you guys Yes, okay, so this big pet bed was $3.99. That's an awesome deal, because even at Ross and 
Walmart or wherever you might go where you find discount pet beds. I have never found a bed for four bucks like this. It's usually just a flat mat. So Wally got this bed for his cage. And then they always have these kind of little baby blankets. Um, fleece, little micro fleece blankets they call them. And they are like baby size. So they're, let me see. I don't know even know what's on here. I just got him one because he liked the last one I got him. Uh, it's, you know, like really soft on this side. And then this side has like some sort of pattern. And these guys are $1.99 for these blankets. And they're wrapped up usually um, in a square. And then they're usually tied up with this and it says microfiber throw and it tells you how big it is and this was $1.99. So even if you had like a family or baby that you know need, was in need of items and you can find some decent stuff to get and donate to babies or if you want it for your pet, a comfy little blanket for if it's cold to keep on their bed, you can't go wrong with $1.99. And I usually just toss them out. I feel kind of wasteful doing that but I don't want to put their furry messed up blankets in my washing machine so for a dollar 99 it's not too bad to just buy a new one in a couple months so there's that wally is set up with his nice cage now and then the last items i were gonna i was gonna show you guys are the cute towels i had been hunting for that match the bath rug i showed you guys a little bit ago these are full size um bath towels now we won't be using these to dry off or anything because they don't feel that soft and cushiony but um they're the perfect size and they're cute for my decor towels hanging in my uh, guest bathroom. So I don't want to spend a lot of money for towels that aren't really going to be used. But I also don't want it to look like it's just got the leftover towels that nobody uses. So I got two of these lavender. It's my favorite color. Two of these and they're $1.99 each. So I grabbed two of those and then the color that matches the bathrobes I had found last time were also there this time and I last time I went they weren't they didn't have these yet so I made sure to grab these now and then I went back since then and then these colors were gone already so they do go quick you just have to be on the hunt and I don't know everybody puts their stuff out at different times oh what else did I have to show you guys I want to say that we're done the only thing and I've showed this already before is these cute little storage I ended up liking the size of these so much that I went back and they have my favorite colors, the teal and the purple. So I went and picked up more of these for storing my ribbons and um, other craft supplies. And I like that I can see through them to see what's inside them. So I did pick up two of those. And these are $1.99 each. And they're actually really nice storage bins. And I like that they clip the lid down. So I'm constantly moving my bins like picking up like three or four at a time and to get to the one on the bottom or whatever and I like that they the lids don't come off because it snaps down on them but anyways that is it for my pre-easter and after easter haul now that it has taken me three days <laughs> to complete this video I do have some Hobby Lobby accumulated stuff I need to show before it overtakes my craft room and the floor there I'll trip and fall again and bust my toe like I did three weeks ago and um <laughs> I also have some home goods stuff to show you guys that I want to show. So I will see you guys soon. I hope you will subscribe, comment, share, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.